Truth be told, I've been having so much fun with Adobe Express because I could take my designs and bring them to life, amp them up with, you know, audio, some video content, animation. It's just so easy. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here's the design I'm working on. It happens to be a full moon music festival and nothing says music like a static uh, graphic with no music, no man, animation, no nothing, you know? And I want to go beyond Photoshop. So that's why I want to use Adobe Express. So taking that same PSD, bringing it into Express and starting from it. Uh, could also be uh, an Illustrator file or even an InDesign file or PDF, right? Load it in. You, that's what's going to happen. It's going to look like this. I already have this loaded in. Everything comes in as expected. And I can make little tweaks if I want to, say, readjust this text, have that reflow nicely. You get the idea. But like I said, I want to amp this up. I want to do right by my client, you know? And uh, I don't have a whole motions department. But check this out. I want everything to animate in, not just one thing. Yeah, I can animate one thing in, but brand new, select animation, animate all. And you know what? We'll animate everything popping in. Let's take a look. Pop, everything comes in one click, everything comes into play. Perfect, right? Now that that's added, I can add additional animations. So maybe I want this to loop and I'm, maybe it's bouncing up and down like that. Uh, m maybe it wiggles. Maybe this is the type of dancer you are. I don't know. But honestly, pulse is what I want. And now I have added that animation. So boom, we have that going in. We have some animation happening as well. Okay, looks good. Now, uh, the issue I have is the text is dancing, but the people are kind of static. So you know what? I want to go beyond those just static images and I want to use video. So check this out. Uh, we can add video content and I could do a search for like, say, techno dancing, something that has the same vibes as that still image uh, is what I'm looking for, right? Um, so we can kind of jump in here, find something that looks good. Let's check it out. This clip, perfect. She's dancing. She's covering up all the content. Why? Check it out. Remove background for a video that's 20 seconds long. So we'll just scoot that down. And while that is happening, you know what? I want to um, have a background behind her that's just going to be some fun uh, meters like so. Let's change the blend mode like that. Push it behind everything. Love playing with video. Love what's happening there. And let's not forget we have our video that, again, is about 20 seconds long. You know, in fact, boom, there it is. It is done. And let's check it out. We have her dancing. The meters in the background, this is what's going on. But a lot of main character energy. Let's calm down, lady. Let's push her back, okay? And make her feel like she's more part of the design. So let's work on some just uh, color adjustments or even effects, things that we're used to doing in Photoshop. Throw a do tone in there. Bam, bam, pick what you want. Tweak it any way you want. And there we have that integrated in like so. So it's looking better. But now what I'm thinking is like, is she going to be in front of that text, behind the text? What am I to do? You know what? I'm thinking both. Copy and paste. Create a quick layer sandwich. Delicious. Change that. Fill to nothing. So we just have the stroke for the text on top. So lovely layer, layer, layer sandwich. There we have a super integrated design and I'm all about it. Loving what's happening here. And uh, let's take a look at this because there's actually two scenes going on. So I'll just kind of click ahead. This will just do a, a transition to white and then to, into that second scene. And since we're empowered by video, what I would like to do is just add video as like a transition. So I'm searching for light leaks. So we could jump into this and just find something that might work. Let's click here. Let's shrink this up as well because this is awfully long. We'll just make this like you know, about three seconds or so. But this is the video with the light leaks. Let's take a look at it. Cool, has the flashes, matches the color. Let's change that to screen. Boom, flashes. Oh yeah, guess what? Show layer timing. Guess what? Have that come in later on and have the flashes come in later on. So what do we have? We have her thing. We have the flashing like it's a club and we transition right into the second scene. So I'm having fun with this. Like I'm feeling awesome. Now I do have the second scene and uh, first off, I want to put him, uh, I'd usually use a layer mask, but I want to crop him in a circle. Hey, we'll crop him in a circle. Done. Okay. But more importantly, I want to turn this into a template 
but I want other people to worry about who the artist is, those photos, that text. So check this out. Look, I can lock style down, but allow others to replace the text. So they're not going to break the design. Same thing for the photo. Lock it down, allow others to replace the image. So how cool is that? I have that locked down. And from there, I can turn around and make this a template, share it with who I want. And usually I'll put it in a brand library and check this out. Last thing, come in here toggling these on. If they have to pick colors or fonts, they're gonna pick from these, um, these guidelines or basically the brand that I've set up. So saving that, just like that, you should feel empowered and awesome. You're gonna sleep well tonight knowing the design is locked down, but more importantly, you get to sleep because others are making all the assets for you. That's Express, hopefully you enjoy it as much as I do. Try it out and let me know what you create.